All right, so here we have a 2013 Volkswagen Rutan. The problem we have is with our sliding door, uh, we have some kind of chatter uh, coming back from the latching mechanism. Right here we have some kind of a, the ratcheting noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to get inside and pull the door panel off and see what we got going on in there. We can definitely put our hand on here and tell it's coming from this area. Yeah, that was the, that's the noise. So we'll get in there and we'll uh, get this door panel off uh, from the inside. All right, so here we are inside the vehicle. I've already disconnected the negative side of the battery terminal so that so the door doesn't want to automatically close on me uh, so we can get this trim panel off here. So we're going to start by removing uh, this cover here. All right. So we have a Torx bit there. This is a T20. All right, so now we need to, uh, we have a bunch of push pins along the bottom. We need to get all those popped out. All right, I got to remove this trim panel here. So I just pulled that out. All right. Just kind of walk it upwards. So I have some electrical connectors here for the uh, the door window and the lock. All right, so all of our push pins came out. All right, so the next thing we need to do is remove the uh, window motor. Uh, that way we can lower the window and we can access uh, to unbolt it. All right, and this is a T30. I'm going to go ahead and un take our connection off. All right, so now now we can manually move the motor or the window down without the motor. So what we want to do our access panels here. So we want to lower down our our window till we can get these 10 millimeter bolts. All right, so we'll go ahead and that's, that's the very bottom of the window there. All right, so we'll go outside and we'll uh, remove the panels to take the window out. All right, so to get the window out, we need to remove this trim panel here. So I just have my trim tool. We have a couple push pins here and here. All right, so just go ahead and... Oh, there we go, we got the top. Okay. 
Okay, so what I did is I have this pair of bent uh, needle nose pliers, so I, I had to get in here and actually squeeze the tabs uh, to pull that one out. All right, so to get the window out, uh, we need to loosen the track up. All right, so our window track has a bolt here and another bolt here. So we'll go ahead and remove those bolts. And they're 10 millimeter. All right, so now we'll be able to move our track back. All right, so we can get our window. Okay. All right, so now we got our window out. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove, uh, these three screws are what holds the latch in, or three torques, these are uh, T30s. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove our handle now. All right, so we have, this is a, a T20. And then we have some 10 millimeter uh, bolts holding it in also. All right, so we'll go ahead and unclip. This is our lock rod. So we want to just kind of, we got to push our tabs in here. And pull it back. There's a little groove there. And then we pull our barrel out. All right. I do have one other spot, like it's pretty hard to see up in here. All right, so we're gonna remove this connection point uh, and then remove the barrel out of here and that's for our outer door handle. All right, so now I'm gonna remove that uh, connection. All right, and walk my barrel out. Okay, so this cable also has got a hold down right here. So we wanna go ahead and push that hold down back. All right, so that's free. Now there is another cable in here that comes to this latch. But what we're gonna do on that one, so it pops through here, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect it from right here. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop it out of its spot. All right, so that one, this other one goes down uh, to the lock mechanism on the door track itself. So we'll go ahead and remove that one also. Okay, we'll close back up our deal. We'll go ahead and pull this cable out of its spot there. All right, so the next uh, set of things we should do, um, we'll go ahead and remove our electrical connector. So we have a lock. So we just push our lock down and then we can push our button. 
remove our hold downs. All right, so here I just have a, a little a plastic clip remover. So we'll go ahead and use that here. What else I'm going to do is, so we have some other T30s here. Those are going to be what holds the window uh, regulator in. So we're going to loosen those up uh, so the regulator just stays in the door as we remove the panel. All right, then we need to remove uh, the rest of our 10 millimeter perimeter bolts. All right, so this cable here, we want to go ahead and just pop our grommet out the back there. So we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that in the window or in the door itself, the pocket. All right. Go ahead and pull it through. All right, so we have like a push pin right here, we just have to pull that out. Wiggle our panel out. We have all the door window channeling is what we're is what we're playing with right now. Alright, so I just have to walk it around. This is the piece. We still had to, you know, remove our window channel and then we can get that out of there. All right. All right so we're ready to uh, work on our latch assembly. All right. So now we want to get our, our latch mechanism off. So first we're going to try to loosen up these tabs right here and see if we can walk it back. So there's one. All right, there's two. Okay. All right. Okay, so we'll go ahead and flip our assembly over. All right. We're going to do the same kind of thing here. We're going to lift up on this tab. And walk it forward. All right, so we have all of our cabling still holding us in there. So let's see here. There we go. We'll go ahead and start removing some connectors. So there's our safety. Same here, we'll go ahead and pull this red tab back. And then we can push the tab and pull it off. This one here. So go ahead and flip that around. Okay, so now we just have our, our regular uh, cables. This is So we're going to go ahead and squeeze those tabs together. Alright, All right, so that one's upwards. This one should just pull out. This one here just pulls up.
ね。All right, so this one here, we got a little something. Not sure how that one comes off. We'll go ahead and do this one now. All right, so same thing, squeeze our tabs together. We'll pull it back. Okay. All right, so this one. A little different. We've got a little gap on the front here, so. Okay, so here we have our new part uh, supplied to us by Auto Parts Direct to You. Right, and it's a complete latch assembly. All right. All right, so we'll go ahead and install this. All right, so we'll go ahead and start putting our cabling back on. We'll go and pretty much we'll try to do the same order we took them off, so. All right, so we're all set to go put this back into the vehicle now. All right, so now we're ready to uh, put our assembly back in the door. All right, so we open the door all the way to get out. This, the lower cable, all right, so if we just pull on the lower cable, that's the latch for here. All right, so then we can move our door in. All right, so this is a little tricky, being that we have all this bulk here and we have a step. And we have to get our window trim lined back up. So we kind of have to swoop it in, um, you know, to stay above this bracket line. So it is a little bit of a wrestle. All right, so we'll go ahead and try to do that now. I do have the regulator kind of pushed back and, you know, ready to go in position. All right, so right now I just stuck on the window seal. All right, now I'm around the window seal. All right, so we're getting closer. We have some what we want. We want to look at our latch now. Yeah, I just have my second hand here, the cameraman's putting those three latch uh, screws in. Okay, so we just have them in loose right now. Now we'll go ahead and get the rest of our stuff squared up. All right, so this is our door handle. I'm gonna go ahead and slip that in there. have our lower latch. We'll go ahead and feed it through our hole here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift up our 
our regulator. Go ahead and put a couple of our outer bolts in. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is put our, there's our push pin for the one cable for the handle. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop in our groove. First we put our, our ball in, then we pop it in the groove. Go ahead and put our hold down back in our spot there. I'm going to tighten up the uh, window regulator. All right, so I'm going to put the lower bolt for the window track. Just going to put it in finger tight. We're going to wait on the upper. We'll go ahead and put the rest of our our trim panel back on. Our door handle, we'll go ahead and put our cable in first. Our lock rod. Some more 10 millimeters here. Our Torx. Go ahead and get our handle pushed in and lined in. All right now we'll go around and tighten our all of our 10 millimeter bolts. Our wiring and cable here. All right, first we'll go ahead and do our electrical connector. All right, so we're ready to uh, put our window back in. Wow. Right, we're going to tighten our latch back up. All right, so now we're ready for the window. All right, so we just want to, we don't have our upper bolt in for the track, but we do have the lower, so we're just kind of pushing everything back. All right, so we're going to. work our 
window down. All right, sliding it forward to get it into the track. We're kind of pushed up in this track here trying to ride that track. We're going to go all the way down till we get past our opening. Okay. Now we want to get our window back in that track. We'll go up with it. All right, then we're going to come back down. Track back over. All right, let our window should fall back down and catch our regulator. All right, right there. All right, so we have this other 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to go ahead and bolt back the top of the track here, at least get our bolt in there and snug. All right, so we'll go ahead and attach our window back to the regulator. So now we just want to pick our window up. So we see our, our other mount. Go ahead and tighten that one up. All right. So we can cover our access panels back up. So we want to put our window motor back in. Plug our electrical connector back in. All right, we'll go and tighten down our, win our two window tracks. We have our lower and our upper. So we got everything all buttoned up here. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our door panel back on. All right, so we do have to make our electrical connections again. All right, so we just want to make sure that we have all of our push pins are all in our spots. There's none left in the door. All right. So we have to put our, our top in first and kind of slide it back. All right. Go ahead. Pushing it down on our window seal. All right. Then we can just push it into our onto our mounts. All right. Put our screw back in. All right, so we're ready to put our trim panel back on. All right, and we have our window mount here, so we just go ahead and slip it on. All right, so now we're ready to do our outer trim panel. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop our push pins in here. All right. 
All right, so we're ready to uh, connect the battery and uh, see if it works. All right, so now let's uh, see if our repair did the job. How's it? All right. 